Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. So it's one that you don't always like to make, but we've got some issues with the R56. I mean, would it be an M14 if it didn't have problems? So we've got an engine uh, management light on the dash. And when I've read the codes, there's multiple O2 sensor fails um, showing up. Now it's a problem I knew the R50, R56 had when I brought it. So it's not a surprise, but it's lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. It's sort of really struggling when I put the, my foot down. Uh, it doesn't seem to be going anywhere so hopefully it's a, a quick fix um with this so as i knew it was a problem i've actually already got this top o2 sensor on the shelf ready to fit whenever it sort of completely failed so i'm going to sort of talk you through how to change that top sensor so it's really easy to get to as you can see lots of access there to get that out and i would say someone's actually already taken that out and put it back because literally i got this socket on it so it's a 22 mil socket and you see it's got the cutout for the wire so it's a special one probably won't have that in your sort of gen your normal halford set so you'd have to buy that on amazon or ebay um but it is a really quick and easy swap because there's so much access from the top on my car i'll probably have to replace the bottom one and if i do i'll do a separate video on that so this is purely how to replace that top o2 sensor so i'll talk you through that now okay so it's this sensor that we need to replace you can see what i've already got it loose so the car's nice and warm so be careful because the turbo and everything gets really hot but hopefully that will make getting this out a little bit easier and all you do you get your socket you put the wire through the cutout and slide that all the way down until it sits nicely on there so you might have to give it a bit of a push obviously you'll have your impact gun or wrench on the top of here and all you do is just rotate that just like you would until you get that out now mine's come out really easily i don't know whether someone's already been at this and checked this o2 sensor before i brought the car because that just felt a little bit too easy to undo obviously i've undone that before the video don't panic i haven't been driving around with it that loose next door we've got to get the uh, the wiring out so from what I understand, there's a little clip down here you have to get the wire out of. I've obviously got this one up here, which is cable tied, so I'll get a clip in a minute. Uh, and then I'll work out where the rest of this cable goes and show you next. Okay, so next step is this connector here. So I've already cut the cable tie that was attached here. Then this, mine's come out and it's a bit hot to get it back in, but if you basically get a flathead screwdriver and push, this block towards the front of the car it'll slide out of this bracket and hopefully we should be able to there you go lift that connector up so we've just got to disconnect this here so that should be pretty self-explanatory looking at that so when i've got two hands i'll pull those apart and then that is basically what we're replacing right now so i just need to disconnect that and then we can unscrew that okay so it looks like maybe a clip's broken on mine or something because that came literally pulled straight out there was no clip then all you've got to do unscrew this be careful because especially if it's like mine you've done it while the car's been hot probably need to put some gloves or something on because this is very warm there you go and that's your o2 sensor out the car so that was nice and easy and all you've got to do to replace that is reverse those steps okay so you can see we've got the 41 out and we've got the brand new one uh genuine part ready to go back on so it's a bosch unit so i'll see if i can find the part number for you and i'll put that in the description below but all you do is literally reverse those steps so it should be really easy to install just pop off that cover make sure you do that looks like it's got some sort of loctite on it anyway and a crusher wash uh crush washer so we should just be able to take this in and if we put the cable out the way for a second let's see the new part's cold so i can do that finger tight to start with and always do finger tight before you get any sort of socket or impact gun or anything on just to make sure you don't chew up that thread and that's it obviously we'll need to reconnect that there so i'm going to go and get the um Suck it and get that tightened up first and then we'll get this connected and start the car see if that clears at least some of the errors okay so i've tightened that up with the socket next off you've got 
obviously let's zoom out a bit all the connectors so that easily just slides on so mine wasn't broken there is no sort of clip it's just held on with pressure so what we've got to do and it's difficult to hold the camera put that back in there and slide it onto the bracket it came off and then all i need to do is pull this gray plug out and you can see there's already gray clips on here that i can reuse to connect to all of this so this should be really easy just to tidy up so just reverse uh, the cable in the way it was attached okay so you can see the cables are all tidied up and put back just as we started so just start your car now check everything's okay you may have some codes that you need to clear um, depending on what triggered you in the first place to do that or well, the car might self clear those so if you have any issues obviously you can get an obd reset tool or take it to a specialist but for me that's a really easy diy job um, and i think most people if you've got the right tools would be able to do that okay, so that was a quick and easy install fingers crossed in my situation it's fixed the problem and if you need to do that hopefully it fixes yours as well if you found the video useful please hit that like button it really helps and then if you hit the subscribe uh, button and hit the notification bell you'll get alerts every time we upload content whether it's for the r56 now obviously the f56 on the channel um, as well as plenty of other cars so i'm sure that will be uh, worked upon thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video Oh,